Good morning, folks. Would be farmer here. I suppose I'm, I'm, I suppose I should actually get in the picture frame, huh? Anyway, let's take a look. Let's take a look. We are at the beginning of May, 2022. And for those of y'all who have been following, we do plan on selling as we are going to move out west. We want to be closer to family. We will be looking to sell in the spring of 2023, so next year. Oh, say hi to Sela. She wants to be a star. Hey, Sela, how you doing? She's the youngest. She gets beat up. The other two beat her up pretty good. So anyway, I thought I'd uh, show everybody around a little bit. We have some overcast, so whenever I have overcast, I try to do a video. The lighting, the lighting is a little better, as one could imagine. Anyway, our place is two bedroom, one bathroom. It is cozy. It is exactly what we wanted. 800 square feet. We wanted a big lot and a little house. That's exactly what we got. As you can see here, the front, what used to be oak savanna, manufactured oak savanna, because this entire area here is forest. So what they did is they, years ago they were uh, growing ferns, so they chopped everything down except the ferns they were growing. And as this transitioned in, into a standard residential urban plot, they chopped everything down, had the oaks. So it's kind of like a savanna up front. Well, we were trying to restore a somewhat native forest environment up there with the introduction of some guava, some citrus, mulberries, figs, and other fruit trees that we could use to help provide food for us. So that's the front. And this is a little over an acre. The house sits about 60% back, 60% back of the, the property. And there are very, very little traffic up here, as in uh, the garbage and recycle people show up. And after that, it would be the, the mail carrier. <laughs> That's about it, and us. <laughs> uh, we are at the dead end, dead end of about a third mile long road, maybe a little more. Very few houses on this road. I think there are one, two, three four, actually five houses, one <laughs> gentleman started working on, but actually behind us, he started working on years and years and years ago. He's a retired carpenter, and he is here infrequently. Well, he's here maybe once a month, and he has things stored back there, but that's it. There's basically four families and then a, a project house way back that that will probably never, <laughs> never get completed. It's a little tiny thing, and it's a, it's a real neat-looking permaculture house, basically. It's probably about halfway done. So this is right behind the house, or facing east. And as you can see, I'm trying to hold the camera fairly still. As to not, I'm trying to, just trying to be a good videographer here. We do have solar panels on the roof. Everybody want, when I tell people we're looking to sell next year, how much you want for it? Well, I, do you know what the housing market's like right now? It's crazy. It's, it's, it's going nuts. So if I give a number now, I don't think it's going to make a lot of sense. I can tell you this. The average price of a home in this area is $130,000. i will tell you that. That's what it is right now. So what, what would we get for this? I don't know. Would we ask one twenty? Perhaps if we were selling it right now. Next year, who knows? Market could crash, and that would be a ridiculous, a ridiculous starting point, a ridiculous, ridiculous place to try and negotiate. That would be a ridiculous price. Um, this house could could be worth 150,000 at, at next year. We don't know. We don't know. But we will absolutely work with someone who is a good fit for sure. We will work. We want to turn this land over to someone who's going to steward it properly, who's going to continue the permaculture process of respecting the land, restoring the land, regeneration, sustainability, 
creating an environment that provides food and habitat for all the species of creation, focus on natives. For example, I think on our, <laughs> our number one fruit here is, is mulberry and it's, a na it's native. Oh, we're getting into the sun here. I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is, this is the mama mulberry right here. And I'm going, going, going right into the sun, but I'm going to try to show some fruit. I have probably 25 or so mulberry trees, if not more, growing all over the property. And many of them are small, because we've only been doing this for almost five years. I think we, we, start, so we started in 2017, August. So we're coming up on five years. So this is a young food forest. This is a young food forest. All right. Basically, a lot of my work right now is path maintenance, pruning, making sure we can still get through. <laughs> like right now, after the uh, we get after the mulberries fruit here this year, I'm going to trim back some of these branches and stick them in the ground other places, so we can have more mulberries. Now we have, I said we have a little over an acre, and that's true. Um, but there's probably about five acres that we forge around here because there's no, there's, we really only have one neighbor next to us. And everybody else is uh, a, a fair distance away. So there plus plenty, there's plenty of open land to forage and gorilla plant. I can gorilla plant mulberries here and there and let, let the oaks grow back. This is a scarlet plum, and I'm uh, not sure why. It's a very productive fruit tree in this area, and not a lot of people have them. I don't know if it's just not a tradition, or it's not native, although I do have many native plums planted here. I have a flatbush, a chickasaw, and another, another native I can't think of offhand. But I, I got another one and planted it as well, and... Uh, it's already started a fruit as well. It's not as big as this one. So I've got two growing here. And uh, two, two actually, they should both be a little more productive with, with uh, more poll pollination aspects going on. But this has been very productive. This has been the most consistently productive fruit tree we have. Scarlet plum, love it. And as you can see, I need to get busy harvesting some of those. This area back here was one of our first was one of our first uh, prospects. Oh, hey, I gotta shut this video short because I have somebody calling me here. Hold on one sec.